what about in this case? Um, all right, so I think that you all respect, you all respect everything, right? So that is good. Then let's move to this one. The university decides, okay, think about this one. Okay? The university decides to remodel the dormitory and add a new space to it. Which space do you recommend adding in your dormitory? Which one would you want? A cafe, a study room, or a game room? Mm -hmm. Which space would you like in your dormitory? I think that depends uh, what the so what I like it because if I like to study, I wanna. I wish some place where I can study. Mm -hmm. In this case, and I, my option can be a study room. Okay. Perfect, Edwin. What about you, Hosman? What would you choose? A cafe, a study room, or a game room? Mm -hmm. Three is very important. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the three R, the three R. Yeah, it's very important. I that story wrong um, because. Uh, Are you sure, husband? <laughs> yeah, as as because the my study room um uh, um uh, um place the relax, for example, the study, uh to 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 work a uh, video, for example, and computer. Um, on, on place that uh, I'm speaking con uh, order uh, 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 compañero mm -hmm. Rainet exactly a sorry roommates roommate okay mm -hmm. uh, con, uh, with roommate is a uh, different activity perfect For me. okay very good a study room, okay. And you, Carlos? I have problem. I love the coffee, but uh, I love the game. I prefer game room. Oh my um, God, Carlos, okay. Why, yeah. why a game room? <laughs> yeah. It's a It's a sueño. It's otro de mis sueños. Uh, if other my dreams live mm -hmm. in my game room, okay. in my house. Got it. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. That is a dream. So, okay. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. And you, Andrea, which one would you choose? Mm hmm Andrea, are you there? I think that she's not there. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Yeah, let me let me call you, but let me be careful because I did stop this recording. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Let's continue, okay? Carlos, okay. let me ask you, okay? What do you think about question number one? Some people want to change their appearance, even through surgery. Do you agree or disagree? Uh, well, in my opinion, uh, disagree. Okay. Because uh, I I think that the people need to work in the in the personality and work themselves, they maybe know. confident mm -hmm. or or but they don't need um change and the the some part of the body. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, so what about you? Uh, what do you think about that question, um, Raúl? 
what do you think about this? Do you agree or disagree that some people want to change their appearance even through surgery? Do you support uh, that? Yeah, I, I, I agree. I totally agree. Okay. Because uh, if this person, they feel very, very good with a new change in, in her body, well, uh, I don't have an, any problem with that. <laughs> okay. So, so I, well, I, I am, let me see. I give the uh, maybe su support okay. for for the new change. So in my case, I agree and I and I support that. Okay, perfect. All right. So who doesn't support this? Who does not support this? Do you all support this? Okay, perfect. All right. So now what about this one? Okay, the second one. Which um actually which one would you choose? The cafe, the study room, or the game room? This one is for you to add uh this uh place in your dormitory. You have the <laughs> opportunity, okay, right now. So which one would you choose? I would like to to add another kind of of similar, but I don't know if if you heard about the mm -hmm. a room like for no a room for for do a uh, a silent parties. <laughs> yeah, you uh, normally when you went. When you go to a party, you listen music mm -hmm. with, your, with your hair, right? Yes. So in the silent party, you need uh, headphones and everybody <laughs> needs headphones and the room is silent, but you you only mm -hmm. uh, listen the the music and through the headphones interrupt to another persons. <laughs> okay. Yes, I I think that I have seen a video. I don't know if I saw a video or something, but yeah, I I, I you really... can you can find only silent parties okay. and everybody with the headphone yeah, <laughs> only I dance, but mute. Okay, got it. Okay, it could be interesting. It could be interesting, okay, but it, it, it's um kind of different at the same time. But okay, it could be interesting. You right? say right now, or when I when when we was a university. When we were in the university. Ah. No, but you say now. Yeah, I mean, no, in this case, in the university, but I think that Raul says, oh. uh, like, in, yeah, okay, but he's yeah. mentioned that type of, you know, uh, room, right, a different one from those three, and I think That's that that could be interesting, yeah, it could be interesting, yeah, it, it makes sense. I need, I need to see this video. But, yeah. Yes, so you need to look yeah. for it. Rafael, okay. Silence parties, right? Uh, Raul. Thanks for the information, yeah. Raul. I will look for it as well, okay? All right. Perfect. Okay, guys. So right now we are going to start with the information and with um the book, all right? So we need to cover some information from the book and we are going to do it today. So let's talk about vocabulary, okay? So what we need to do first is that we're going to start matching those terms, okay, that are related to training and personal development to their meanings, yeah? So we have from one to five, yeah? We have goal, feedback, budget, knowledge gap, coaching, and qualifications. Okay, guys, what is the meaning of goal? What is goal? Mm -hmm.
What is it? A desired result a desired or possible result. outcome. Correct. So it is a desired result or possible outcome. What is the meaning of outcome? Por venir. Okay, yes. An outcome is a result. Outcome is a synonym for result, como resultado. Feedback. What is the meaning of feedback? Helpful information or critics about the performance of right. a person. Yes, criticism, right? Yes, very good. So that is feedback, okay? It's like uh, in Spanish is retroalimentación, right? I, I heard uh, yesterday, I think that somebody asked about that word. <clears throat> so it is retroalimentación, okay? What about budget? What is budget? An estimation of income and expenses. Perfect. Guys, we all have expenses, right? That is the word that we need to use whenever we want to say gastos, right? Gastos. My expenses. Means gastos. My expenses. Okay. Uh, what about knowledge gap? What is the meaning of knowledge gap? An irregular balance of what person should know. Correct. All right. Are those vacíos del conocimiento, right? Esos vacíos que hay. Yes, knowledge gap. What about number five? Coaching. What is the meaning of coaching? Hmm? The process, process of improving. Do you receive coaching at work? Yes. Okay, I hope you do, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. You, Rafael, you do? Rarely. Very. Rarely? <laughs> yes. But do you give coaching? Do you give feedback? Yes, okay. all the time. All right, so in this case, you probably do not receive, but if you give, well, it's okay. All right, and what about qualifications? Okay. Mm -hmm. It is a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. The qualifications, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any question about this? No? Okay. Let's move. It's a, a bomb jet. I, I I use this this word to uh, presupuesto. Correct. That okay. is yeah, that is the okay. correct um interpretation, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, guys. So now it says we need to identify. We need to identify. Yeah, training opportunities for personnel. But first, what we need to do is that we need to label the description of the process with the right heading, okay? We have one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So I need five volunteers. I need five volunteers to read each of those. Ana, you are number one. Uh -huh. Okay, Carlos Arias, you are number two. Uh, Carlos Eduardo, three, Wilbur, four, and the last one, uh, please, let me see, um, Andrea, Andrea Sofia. Okay, so number one. Okay, list all opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and skill of the staff as employees that areas they need help with yes what what areas perfect all right it was very good pronunciation number two find the best way to provide training one-on-one -on -one coaching short term 
uh, long term training. He learned beside the options that best fit, fit the needs of your staff and company. Very good. Yes, it was a very good pronunciation as well. Number two. Okay, ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their, their progress. Look at the work everywhere and check if there is still evidence of a deficiency in the skills or a knowledge. Okay, very good. Number four. Observe the employees as well and what needs improvement. Mm -hmm. Check for quali qualification, training courses, and responsibilities from previous positions. Get more individual information for human resources. Okay, very good. All right, number five. Okay, in this case, and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down indicator of the knowledge and skill that match the position. Identify the process change in the description. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Andrea, very good. All right, so just some observations, guys. Uh, first of all, this one, human, okay, hu human. Uh, okay, it's okay, eh, Susana. Okay, so human, okay, human, human resources, like with J, Q, human, right? Then we also have this one, this cost, this cost, and we also have area, yeah, the area. Okay, guys, what do you think is number one? From those five, which is number one? What is the description? Uh huh. Number one. Maybe identify training solution. Identify training solutions. Okay. Are you sure? It says list all opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Analyze the job. Analyze, Analyze the, job? the job. Are you sure? The skills and knowledge gaps. Okay, desire skills and knowledge gaps. All right. So in this case, um, okay, is uh, no, none of those guys. Number one is going to be identify personal current skills and knowledge because you are going to list all opportunities and areas of improvement. So you are identifying current skills and the knowledge for what? Then you are going to give training, okay? So number one is identify personal current skills and knowledge. Number two, Find the best way to provide training. Provide. Mm -hmm. Number two is going to be identify training solutions. Yeah. Number three. It says, ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Decide the skill and knowledge gap. Okay. Mm, number three. Well, evaluate the form after training. after training. Correct. Evaluate performance after training, guys. Yes. Now, number four, it says, observe what the employee does well and what needs improvement. In this case is decide skills and knowledge gaps because whenever you decide the knowledge gap, so you are evaluating, you are observing, 
okay? If you need to improve something else. And number five is analyze the job. Okay, very good. All right, guys. Yes, let's move. Okay, let's move to this activity. Roberto works in a publicity company. Answer the following question using your critical thinking and ideas, all right? You don't need to create a presentation. What you need to do is that you need to answer those questions. First step, you are going to analyze the job. What activities that he needs to perform in his job? His job is in a publicity company. You can uh, probably, you decide if uh, Roberto is a graphic designer or if Roberto is a manager in the marketing department. You decide because I want you to use your critical thinking, okay, and ideas. Mm -hmm. Then you are going to answer number two. What specific skills does he need? The skills, okay? that he needs to perform his job. Mm -hmm. Then number three, are there any skills he lacks? Yeah, that could help him do his job better? What do you think? Okay. You need to use your own ideas, your critical thinking, okay? And then identify training solution. What type of training program would be helpful to develop the skills he lacks? Probably he cannot use a program which is very important in his position. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he needs to update a certification about Photoshop, Illustrator, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so try to answer most of the questions. I'll give you around eight minutes, okay? And try to answer those questions. Once we come back, I'm going to take the attendance because let me see. Yeah, I think that I will take it right now, okay? I will take it right now because it's already 8.45. Okay, so Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia. Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer. Blanca. Carlos Alberto. I'm here. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco. Present. Thank you. Cesar Romero Amaya. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Glenda Toledo. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Salvador. Hosman. Present. Serrano. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Lisette Sánchez. Karen. Present. Yeah. Um, Catherine Indira, Marlon Oswaldo, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Uh, okay. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena. Well, Susana was here. Uh, Walter David. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Thank you. And Yancia Susana Sanchez Sanchez. She's not here, right? Let me see. Present Fatima. Okay. All right. So let's move, guys. Let's move. Let me just recreate the rooms and I will assign four. Yeah. Okay, let's move. Dancing. 
Exacto, Susana. Hello. Yes, Carlos. Did you receive the invitation? Oh. Mm, no. Mm, no. Okay, let me assign you to room three. Okay, thank you. All right. Do you have any question? Uh, no, only no. we wait for the other partners or only three persons? Yes, in this case, uh, let me see. Three, we have three here. No, two. Oh uh, yeah, just let me see. We have one, two, three, four. I will bring, I think I will bring, let me see who. Well, and we so then we will see here. Okay. Yes, Eulise is here. Okay, so you three. Right now you three. Okay. okay. Yes. If Roberto will be a designer designer. Designer? Designer or a human resource, mm -hmm. anyway, manager, manager. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that Roberto will be a designer. Okay. So first mm -hmm. one, analyze the job. What activity does he need to perform it in his job? Mm -hmm. Okay, he, he designed the publicity for the social media. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Nice to job. <laughs> and identify his current skill and knowledge. What specific skill does he need to perform his job? Yes, his skill to perform his job. Um, well, I think that the first thing he needs the skills is a uh, a knowledge about uh, for the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, for some programs, maybe. Which programs? Um, like you said, the Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator. If, for example, if they are in here for the YouTube, mm -hmm. maybe a premium, Adobe Premium. Correct. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what about the the mechanic? I think it would be in his core and his skill and knowledge. Mm -hmm. How how can how can drive uh, the mechanics? Okay. Yeah. No. What about you, Carlos? Yeah, it's the same yeah. about the, the, the before question. He needs to know about 
marketing because in public company yeah only move about that's war and and currently maybe uh, he knows about a lot of uh, some things about internet because in the new era all yeah. about uh, prints his uh, person need a uh, uh, internet for the things yep yeah and need to need uh, uh, you say photoshop um, out I don't remember the name of, of the other illustrator. Yeah. You know, to, to prepare presentation and then present it to the, to the, to the client. Mm -hmm. yeah. and let me see. Uh-huh, I think that's program there are a good skills and the last yeah. one identify training solution uh, maybe that person if it is a good idea that he or she uh, take a certificate for Google Ads, uh, Facebook Ads, uh, CEO of art. What? For what? For art. Yeah. Design. Okay. Art. Maybe Design. for. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you do? You think, Joe Hosman? Ya lo dieron toda. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> no, yeah, really, uh, it's different. And uh, different uh, in, the, in the, the policy that need, the, the, especially the person is the merchandising them too. For mm -hmm. example, I don't know, uh, no, no views uh, hold the, the preparing or, or the document on the video or planics. Uh, I need a person the, the, the execution, the action in the, in the, in the different job or, and, or, or planific the, necess ne the needs, the companies, the different problems uh, too. This necessary the planify planificate the mm -hmm. the the activities or, or planific the um, solution the problem. Or, yeah, imagine or, a, a, a high stock. You need a, a yeah. commercial action. Yeah, another thing that I forgot to say is. Uh, another good idea is that that yes tell me hi teacher hello tell me uh, my Glenda acaba de recibir una mala noticia dice y no puede estar okay uh, Karen I think she's not there Okay. ¿En Glenda? Ella es la que acaba de recibir una mala noticia. Oh. Y por eso se fue. Ok, ok, ok. All right. Um, well, Karen. ¿Lo puede cambiar? Yes, I will move you. Okay, I will move you. Um, Karen, are you there? Yes. Two or four? Four, creo que es. No, two.
Se va a hacer una cosa santa. Ahí está. Um, the next question says, identify, identify this current skill en no, no era eso lo que iba a poner. What specific skill does he need to perform his job? And is he a skilled for okay for this this uh, what skill does he need to perform in his job maybe a um, video editor oh, repeat please Uh, es como it's like a creative person no maybe creative or not yes creative like that mm -hmm. creative person yes creative and you mm. said responsibility person responsible Empathic. Okay, empathetic. Empathetic. Mm -hmm. mm. Understanding. Correct. Understanding. Um, yes. How do you need punctuality? Punctuality. He needs to have also. Um, teamwork no, sí, sí. skills in this case mm -hmm. teamwork maybe punctuality punctuality is correct punctuality you are missing the letter C the letter C goes in front of the letter T punctuality yes like that empathetic is correct this. Eh, empathetic. Okay, so no. Empathetic is going to be. Eh, <laughs> you are missing the letter H after the first T. Correct, like that. Um, tactful. Uh -huh, tactful. Um, tolerant. Tolerant for ideas. Yes. Mm, responsible. Um, in this case, responsible. The, in, instead of A, responsa, it is I, responsi. Mm -hmm. e. mm -hmm. Responsible. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. I you lose my attendance? No, no, you you won't lose your attendance. What you will lose probably are the minutes that you were not here, but not the attendance. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. okay. The next is this is this is. Are there any? Are there any skills? He lacks. What do you mean in lacks? Uh, lacks. Uh, Fal falta. I think it's the same thing. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Could help. Hindu. Mm, yes, lacks. Hindu, uh -huh. his job better. Yeah, 
In this case, you just need to use your imagination, right? If there is no skills that he is missing, so say um, he's ready to perform his job. Okay, he's ready. But I don't know if you want to include some skills, right? That he he lacks of. It's your choice. Maybe knowing about mm -hmm. uh, editor videos. Okay. Ah, uh, you can say video edition. Mm -hmm. Another? Eulisa? Uh, thank you. Um... He needs to speak English or mm -hmm. another language. Mm -hmm. He needs to speak English. Speak. Uh, he needs the communication with other person. Okay, he needs uh, is to person. Communication with others. With others. Mm -hmm. uh, letter S for he needs because it's third person. Uh, yes, uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. And also on the first ones. Uh -huh. I, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Another ideas about this question? Mm -hmm. hmm. Maybe uh, uh how do you say uh, maybe knowing mm -hmm. about photography? Oh yes. Yes. How to take photos, right? How to take photos um Be a photographer? No. Taking I think about... that knowing about taking taking photos. I indeed Thank taking you. photos. But two verbs is with ing. Yes. Knowing about taking. Okay. Yeah. Knowing about taking. Mm -hmm. Taking photos. Um Okay, perfect. I think that, that is enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the last one, what you need to do is that you need to mention what type of training program will be helpful to develop the skills that you have mentioned. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you want him to learn online or if you want him to go to a specific place to learn those uh, skills, even if you want him to travel or not, you decide. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what type of training program will be helpful to the program? It will work in in the house, in his house. Uh, repeat, please. I think he mm -hmm. could work desde su casa. Mm -hmm. and from. 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 Uh-huh. From his home. From his home. Okay. 
So that means that he is going to take online courses. Uh huh. But what is the name the of course do you propose? Oh, the name of the course. Mm. English. English is one. Course. Course. English. Of course, like from that. his house. Yes. From his house, okay. Yeah. And then you can also people skills course, right? Habilidades eh, para tratar con las personas. So people eh, skills course. Maybe uh, intelligence. Em emotional intelligence. Uh -huh. <clears throat> emotional intelligence course. Emotional intelligence of course it's correct double l mm -hmm. and then the one for uh taking photos uh video uh -huh. edition video edition chorus and for photo photography uh, no no sé cómo se escribe mm -hmm. fotógrafo fotógra así con no mm, con p mm -hmm. p h e r mm -hmm. is correct this Photographer. Photo. 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 Photographer. Is correct? No. Photo. 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 Okay, and now erase ER. Erase ER. No, that is A. Erase the, the last ER. Yeah. Photograph, uh -huh. and now erase er. Yeah, uh huh. Oh. And why? Uh, Photography. Uh, I uh, the letter y. Uh, like that. Yes. Okay. 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 I think that you are done, right? You finish. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's move, okay? And let's go to the main room because I think that most of you finish already, okay? okay. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, Anna, can you please present your ideas? Yes. Okay, so what is the job position, right? Yeah, the job position is uh, uh, this a creator uh, of uh, material for so social media, social media. Social media, okay. Okay. Uh, the activities that he needs to perform in his job is organize the activities, agree the budget that uh, he has. Okay, he has. Mm -hmm. He has. He needs to know the client requirement. Okay. He needs to know the marketing design of the client. Okay. He, he needs to create material to social media. Okay, for social media. For social media. Okay. Uh, the specific skill that he needs to perform his job um, is uh, he. He needs are, to be. He needs to be a <laughs> cre creative okay. person, responsible, creative, mm -hmm. creative person, responsible, okay. okay. responsible, empathetic. Uh, understanding, punctuality, tactful, and tolerance. Yes. 
And uh, the skill that he lacks that could help him doing his job better is knowing about video edition. He needs to speak English. Mm -hmm. He needs to communication with others mm -hmm. and knowing about taking force. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the final question, what type of training program he needs to uh, training an English course from his house? Mm -hmm. Emotional intelligence course, mm -hmm. video edition course, and photography intensive course. All right. Repeat after me and say video. Video. Yes. Now, um, where it says he needs to speak English, remember that I speak without the C. It's just S P E K. Uh, he needs to speak. Speak. Erase C. Mm -hmm. K. Correct. Um, okay. Well, all right. Tactful just with one L. Tactful just with one L. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's see. Um, Raul, what about your team? What did you discuss, Raul? What, why are you laughing, Raul? What happened? Okay. We don't, we don't, we don't write, but okay. we right. talk a lot, of, a lot of that. I imagine, and, I imagine, guys. And, and I say that I worked, I, yeah, I, I was worked in, in a policy agency uh, before, so I know a little thing about that. Okay. Uh, but in my case, I am graphic designer, but I have a good communication with the person in marketing. So, uh, for example, I remember the well, the the third question: analyze the jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, what activity does he need to perform in these jobs? Mm -hmm. And I remember that the that the people uh, they need to investigate about the different brands mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah different uh, brands and know and prepare uh, presentations and something like pitch uh, mm -hmm. i remember that that word that that they they prepare a pitch for for I don't know how do you say, but como para ganarse este cliente, but they prepare a pitch, like a pitch. I remember it's a, a, a presentation. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the group of the person, they need to know about the brand mm -hmm. and prepare a, a presentation about that. And the second, identify identify his currently the skill and knowledge. And also I remember uh, the, the person, they need to, to know uh, about marketing, social media, mm -hmm. e internet. Mm -hmm. uh, also, let me see, also ads mm -hmm. and maybe that. Okay. Uh, and the number three, the skill and knowledge gaps. Uh, I remember the uh, every times they need to 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 take uh, a certification, for example, for for Google Ads to put uh, uh, ads in Google's. And, and Google uh, ads for Google, for for Facebook, mm -hmm. and also maybe know about the SEO in in, in something like websites, okay. and and also they need to know about a little uh, Photoshop or Illustrator because they don't need to know a 
about a lot of that program because they don't they don't graphic designer they they are uh, planners or 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 maybe uh, let me see the name <laughs> I forget the name but that's the person that responds respond a lot of message in in Facebook. Uh -huh. CM, but I don't remember the position, the the name of uh, cada letra. But uh, they need to know about presentation, like uh, like PowerPoint. If mm -hmm. they use Windows or Keynote, if mm -hmm. they use uh, Apple, another um, well, the number four identify training solution. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, they take a course like like to like to know about design thinking uh, for marketing, for camping, camping ads or at campings okay. to prepare a good uh, ads. And let me see another. Ah, well, I remember that in the company, they take a, a little mentoring with, with, with person in a specific, for example, they have mentoring in a specific with someone that does, that does coaching work for, for Facebook or for Google and they, this person prepare for the ads, uh, room corrects, or uh, or the camping is very well when when the finally is 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 done maybe. <laughs> okay, everything is done. All right. Oh my God, Raúl. Okay. You told us about all of the company, okay? That was perfect, yes, okay? Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's move, all right? Just because of the time, because if not, we won't finish with all of the information that we need to cover. But, okay, so I need two volunteers. One is going to be Diego, and the other one is going to be a Stacy. Um, okay, so, yes. Carlos, I think that you said, or Eulise. Eulise, I think that says me, teacher. Eulise, please, Diego, and Ana, please, Stacy. Okay, we will use the coach to analyze analyze the training needs of, of our new service. It says major tasks of the position and servers are in shares share in charge of, in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly mm -hmm. so for good service have to be friendly i think we need to help them with that grooming and personal uh, preparing they look a bit messy messy yes Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything, everything, and you send them an email to let them know. Very good. All right. First of all, let's um, take a look at pronunciation, guys. Remember that chart. What is a chart? What is a chart? Un cuadro, como una tabla, okay? That is a chart. Very good, okay? It's chart. Then we also have charge, okay? Pronunciation, charge. Let me see. I think that only that or probably the intonation and the stress of correctly. Correctly, okay? Um... What is the meaning of grooming? Uh, 
It says, don't forget, servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. What is the meaning of messy? Desordenados. Desordenados. And what is a, a, the meaning of grooming? Aseo. Aseo. Aseo personal. El aseo. Okay. Yes. That is correct. All right. So, guys, um, before continuing, let me ask you, is it only new employees who need training? I think that we all agree that no, right? All people. Disagree. Yes, you disagree. Why, Rafael? Because uh, the, the, no sé cómo decir esto. You synonyms. <laughs> Because the, the people need to improve uh, because the technology is changed change. uh, mm -hmm. uh, every day. And we need to uh, adapt to the change. Yeah. Okay. That is correct. So we need to be, um, you need, well, we all need to be like getting trainings not every single month, but at least uh, I would say two times a year, three times a year, because as you said before, Rafael, things are evolving, things are changing, right? So we need to update, we need to be updating and updating, constantly updating, right? Our skills, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Very good, all right. So then let's move and let's take a look at these guys. Do you remember how to use will? I think that yes, you remember how to use will, right? Remember that we use will to make predictions, right? To say what you believe will happen in the future. Yeah. So we have some examples. Um, Edwin, help us reading those two examples, please. Okay. Uh, I think Pamos Chef will come to the event. The manager will prepare a new training for hosts. Very good. So now repeat after me, Edwin, and say famous. 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 Very good. We use will for decisions that you make uh -huh, spontaneously. Right at the moment of speaking, spontaneously. At the time when you are speaking, what we covered last week, I think. Yeah. And we have two examples. Um, help us reading those two examples, Rafael. Those two. Consumers are complaining about slow service. Mm -hmm. I will talk to the staff yes. that server you spill uh, the soap of the customer. I will call the manager. Yes. Yes, spill the soap, right? So then we also have use will to make a promise or to offer help to somebody. I will be there at 9 a.m. and I will help you prepare, prepare the documents for the training. Yeah. We use will in order for us to express things at the moment of speaking spontaneously, predictions, and promises. When you promise something, guys, you use will. I will do it, right? I will call you. That is a promise. Okay? Let's complete the sentences using will and the verb in parentheses. Don't worry, I will show you how to process a credit card payment. Number two, I'm sure you... Mm -hmm. You will have a good time at the training. Yes, number three, the training needs 
analysis will be a success. Correct. Number four. I promise I I, I will do. I will do my, my best. best. Mm -hmm. Number five. Let's together with for evaluation. Five. She, she will, she will not want or will not be late uh, to the meeting. In number six, the manager will work hard to help us improve. improve. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's move and let's take the listening practice, okay? We are going to take the listening before continuing with this part, okay? So let's open the quiz. Let me send the quiz for the ones that probably do not have the spreadsheet open. Um, let me get that for you guys. Let me see. The listen, okay? The listen, the listening quiz. That is the link and the passcode as always, listening, capital letters. Okay, guys, once you are in, let me know because I'm going to play the, the audio, okay? In You're in, okay, perfect. We got it. that was so fast. I just can see the password. Oh, the, pa the, the passcode is listening, capital letters. Yes, but it's the only one I see. Es la única cosa que veo en el chat. Oh, it's the only thing that you see? Uh, probably you don't see the, the, the link, right, for the test. Um, okay, let me, let me send it to you directly, Susana. Okay, let me know if, you, if you're able to see it now. Okay. Yes or no yet? No, I can't see the link. You cannot see it? Um, okay. What I can do is that I can send it to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you. Um, Okay, take a look at that and let me know if that works for you. And the passport is listening, okay? Capital letters. Well, I don't know if you, yeah, it's, yeah, it's sent. Okay. Okay. Now, yes? Yes, I'm in. All right. Yes. All right, guys, so here we go. I'm going to play this recording twice, okay, twice. So pay attention, okay? Let me let me share my, my screen, okay? Give me one second. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. So, do you want to be a hero today? Well, there is a great need for blood donations around the world, and you can be the means of saving lives. According to the American Red Cross, over 40,000 blood donations are needed every single day in the United States alone. And without the help of volunteers like you, it is impossible to fill this need. About 9.2 million people donate every year in the U.S., and although approximately 38% of the population is eligible to donate, less than 10% of them actually do. Sometimes people don't donate out of fear, but the process is relatively simple, following a four-step process. Registering, getting your medical history checked, donating, and then having some refreshments. And once you donate, you have the ability to donate red blood cells every 56 days. So carefully consider becoming a hero today. Donate blood and you can save lives. Okay. The second time, here we go. So, 
Do you want to be a hero today? Well, there is a great need for blood donations around the world, and you can be the means of saving lives. According to the American Red Cross, over 40,000 blood donations are needed every single day in the United States alone. And without the help of volunteers like you, it is impossible to fill this need. About 9.2 million people donate every year in the U.S. And although approximately 38% of the population is eligible to donate, less than 10% of them actually do. Sometimes people don't donate out of fear, but the process is relatively simple, following a four-step process: registering, getting your medical history checked, donating, and then having some refreshments. And once you donate. You have the ability to donate red blood cells every 56 days. So carefully consider becoming a hero today. Donate blood, and you can save lives. Okay. Do you need me to play it one more time? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Yes. Here we go. So, do you want to be a hero today? Well, there is a great need for blood donations around the world, and you can be the means of saving lives. According to the American Red Cross, over 40,000 blood donations are needed every single day in the United States alone. And without the help of volunteers like you, it is impossible to fill this need. About 9.2 million people donate every year in the U.S. And although approximately 38% of the population is eligible to donate, less than 10% of them actually do. Sometimes people don't donate out of fear, but the process is relatively simple, following a four-step process: registering, getting your medical history checked, donating, and then having some refreshments. And once you donate, You have the ability to donate red blood cells every 56 days. So carefully consider becoming a hero today. Donate blood, and you can save lives. Okay. Good. All right. Send your answers. Submit your answers. Let me see. Let me see your scores. Um, where is it? Yeah. Okay. Very good. I can see that some of you got one hundred. Most of you got one hundred. Okay. I think that it was kind of confusing, right? It was kind of confusing. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. I can see that some of you got 100, okay? So that is good. That is good. Um okay, let's continue. Let's continue and let's uh, continue with um vocabulary and some phrases, okay? All right, guys. So we are going to start with types of arrangements. What we need to do is that we need to match the following words with their correct definition, okay? And then we are going to complete these sentences below, all right? So what is an appointment? What is an appointment? According to the definitions that we have right there, what is an appointment? An appointment is? It is? Letter A, a formal arrangement to meet or visit someone at a fixed time and place. A fixed time, una hora acordada. Okay, a fixed time, ya es una hora establecida. An appointment, yeah, una cita. But this is not a, a, a date. Uh, with your uh, probably husband or your wife or your girlfriend or boyfriend, right? No, an appointment is something professional, okay? Then we also have a date. 
What is a date? A planned romantic meeting. Yes, a planned romantic meeting between two people. What is a get together? What is a get together? An informal meeting or social gathering. Gathering, correct. So a get together means un encuentro with your mm -hmm. friends, right, etc. All right, number four. What is a dinner engagement? Mm -hmm. An arrangement to meet somebody for that meal. Correct, letter D. Perfect, okay. What is a checkup? Medical examination to test the general state of your health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. And what is an interview? A meeting in which someone asks you question to see if you are suitable yes. for a job or course. Perfect. All right, guys. So according to those definitions, let's complete those sentences. We are having a small, what do you think? A space get to, uh, well, tomorrow afternoon. Why don't you join us? It is? A get together. Yes, it is a get together, okay? So a small get together is un pequeño encuentro, una pequeña reunión. Yes, a get together. Number two, I have an a date. A date. Mm. An appointment. An appointment. Correct. An appointment. Okay. To see Mr. Wilson. Correct. What about number three? How was your date? Date with Emily. Do you like her? <laughs> number four. I'm going to the doctors for a checkup. Checkup. Mm -hmm. Do you go to the doctor for a checkup, guys? One yes. time of a year. Yes. I, Only I, when I, I sick. <laughs> Only when I am sick. No, you <laughs> should go at least once a year, okay? <laughs> All right. What about number five? Professor Jones has a very important... An interview. Their engagement. Interview. Okay. Mm, interview? Couldn't be because it says tonight with his university colleagues. A dinner engagement. A dinner, a dinner engagement. engagement. Okay. It's like a, a kind of una cena, right? Yes. And the last one, good luck with your job. Interview. Interview tomorrow. I'm sure you will do well. Okay. Perfect. So now, phrasal uh, vocabulary. vocabulary. Okay, this is very useful, very useful, guys. Okay, so those sentences that we can see right here, uh, they have common phrases that are used when arranging meetings. Okay, when arranging meetings. Okay, number one, I'm afraid I can't meet you. Something has come up. Huh? Something has come up. What is the meaning of come up? Council? No. No. It is going to be that something happened unexpectedly. Something has come up. Cuando se quiere decir algo ha surgido in English is something has come up. Sorry. I can't go. 
sorry, I can't meet you. Mm -hmm. Number two, I'm afraid I'm tied up all weekend. Sometimes we all are tied up on weekends. What is the meaning of tied up? Busy. Busy, unavailable. Yeah, whenever you are really busy, guys, even at work, even at work, sometimes, well, most of the time, right? So you say, hey, you know what? I cannot attend the meeting because I'm tied up. Instead of saying I'm really busy, you can say I'm tied up. Phrases. Tied up. Yes, tied up. I'm tied up. I cannot answer right now because I'm tied up. Sorry. Okay. Number three. Let's meet up at the fountain at 4 p.m. Meet up. What is the meaning of meet up? Cuando le dice a alguien, yes, cuando usted le dice a alguien, nos vamos a encontrar en tal lugar. Miren a Solana. Ok. Not exactly. And, yes, let's meet up. In this case, is like saying meet someone in order to do something together. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's meet up. Yeah. When I was lunch, right? Sometimes. Okay. Uh, number four. Can we move up? Can we move up the meeting to Tuesday? What is the meaning of move up? Mm -hmm. Move up. Change the meeting. Mm -hmm. Move up. ¿Cómo asistiremos o nos trasladaremos? No. Change to... Uh, change. Uh, time. Yes. Okay. Move up, it means to change the meeting to an earlier time or day. Como mover, cuando se dice, mira, no podemos mover la, la, eh, la reunión para tal hora o para tal día. Pero usted la está eh, como moviendo antes del día que está, está establecido. Adelantando. Correcto, adelantando. Uh -huh. Adelantar. ¿Mm? Exacto. Ok, number five. Can we put off the meeting till Friday? What is the meaning of put off? Change to a later time. Put off means postpone, posponer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put off, right? Look at this, guys. This is very important. Okay, put off. Mm -hmm. Six, I'm sorry, but I have to call off tomorrow's meeting. Council. 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 Cancel. Perfect. So I'll pick you up at 8 p.m. then. Collect, go and get. Exactly. Collect, go and get. And number eight, are we still on for tomorrow night? Meeting. Meeting as planned. Um, this, this expression is really common. Um, well, sometimes, okay. Cuando le dice usted a, a su amigo o a, o a sus compañeros, todavía estamos, ¿verdad? Para la reunión de mañana. Right? It's a confirmation. It's a confirmation. You are confirming. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we still on for tomorrow night? Are we still on for that meeting? Are we still on for that party? Etc. Yeah, those are general phrases, guys, that you can use in many contexts. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good. All right, let's move then. And now, before continuing, we are going to take the other quiz. But that quiz is about the uh, the first conditional and the zero conditional. Do you remember about those two topics? Zero conditional, first conditional. 
well, I hope that you remember because we are going to take that exam. Yeah. So let's take um, that quiz. Zero versus first conditional. Okay. It is easy if you study it. Okay. But if not, guys, it will be confusing. Um, there you go. That is the link. And the passcode is going to be grammar. Mm -hmm. It will be kind of confusing, guys. If you want to open the class, open the class, the ones where we cover zero and first conditional. Okay. If not, take the exam with your own knowledge. Okay. You need to remember about the structure. Las estructuras es lo que le va a ayudar aquí.
Okay, I got Wilbur and Andrea. Okay. Okay, I got Edwin and Rafael. Okay, got Raul, Rose. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. And I got Fatima, Susana. Okay. Okay, I got Anna. Guzman, Carlos Eduardo. All right, guys. Was it difficult? Or it was difficult? A little. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe I have to know the concepts of each one. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was confusing, right? Because we were mixing like the first conditional, the zero conditional, probably because of that. But I can see that some of you got uh, 90, okay? Uh, some of you got 80. Mm -hmm. So you see, I mean, we just need to practice and you need to practice about those topics and you are going to master those type of, um, you know, grammar things. I got Eulise, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we are almost done, but before we go, guys, I need two volunteers. Okay. I need two volunteers, and we are going to read the role plays that we have. Okay. So one is going to be Simon, and the other one is going to be Alice. So, Raul, please be Simon. And Susana, please be Alice. Uh, hello. Hi, Simon. It's Alice. 
Hi, can you hear me? Hi there, Alice. How are things? Not too bad. Listen, there is a new movie out with Ben Affleck. I've heard it's really good. Mm -hmm. Would be you like to go to the theater to see it? Mm -hmm. Sure. That sounds great. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. Shall we say Thursday evening? I am a fair Thursday isn't good for me. I'm having dinner with my family. It's my mother's birthdays. Okay, can you make it on Friday? Uh, yeah, Friday sounds fine. Great. Great. Okay. Uh, so what sign do you want to meet? Mm -hmm. Well, they're showing the movie at 8.30. So how about quarter past eight in front of the theater? Fine. See you on Friday. Very good. Okay. Well done. Okay. Can you make it on Friday? It's like saying, ¿Puedes el viernes? Can you make it on Friday? Can you make it on Monday? Can you make it on Saturday? Whatever day. Okay. okay. Very good. Um, Simon, please be um, Hosman. Is Hosman here? I think that yes. Yes, Hosman, please be Simon. And Alice, please be. Um, yes, Hosman, yes. please be Simon. And Alice, please be. Anna. Um, Okay. Hello. Hi, Simon. It's Alice. Listen, I'm calling about Friday. Hi, Simon. It's Alice. Listen, I'm calling about Friday. I'm afraid I can't make it. You see, my cousin is coming to visit. I'm afraid I can't for make the weekend, it. and I you have to spend some time to visit. Her. For the weekend, and I have to spend some time with her. Oh, that's a spirit. Can we do Sunday instead? Can we do Sunday instead? Sure, that worked for me. Great. 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 Sometime, some place. Yes. Right. See you then. Bye. Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. Oh, that's a pity. Oh, es una pena. Okay. Oh, that's a pity. Yeah. So can we do Sunday instead? Podemos hacerlo el uh, domingo en lugar de del, el Friday. Okay. So sure, that works for me. Same time, same place, same place, a la misma hora, el mismo lugar, como decimos en español, right? Yes. All right, guys. Just because of the time, we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you for being responsible and connecting, okay? I hope you have a good night. Take care, guys. All right? Good night. 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 Good night.